In 2010, Jays. High Performance celebrates 50 years of giving people what they want at the price they want to pay. Backed up by the best in customer service since 1960. Here's another Jags 50th anniversary video highlight as we celebrate our golden anniversary. When the NHRA's Pro Stock Truck category was introduced as a professional class in 1998, Mike Coughlin saw it as a perfect opportunity for him to compete in a unique professional category where he could benefit from his extensive experience as a sportsman racer. In 1999, his dream of winning an NHRA national event as a pro became reality as he powered his way to the winner's circle in Englishtown, New Jersey in his yellow and black Chevy S10 pickup. We were there and it rained, it had a lot of rain on, on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we actually ended up finishing the last two rounds on a Tuesday. We had two days to really kind of think about what we were going to do. Well, a good friend of mine, Brad Jeter, is who I had to run in the semifinals, and he and I and our, our whole group were staying at the same hotel. So we, you know, we'd come down and have dinner, shoot pool at the bar or whatever, have a couple drinks or whatever, and we got to do this for two days, and then finally we get to race. After defeating Randy Daniels in round one, Mark Osborne in round two, and Brad Jeter in the semifinals, Mike took on veteran Tim Freeman in the payoff round and got the win light for his first NHRA national event title as a pro and would go on to finish fourth in the 1999 NHRA Pro Stock Truck Point Standings. Not only was it exciting, but it took a little time to get there. So once we finally won, it was pretty neat. You know, there wasn't a lot of, a lot of fans or a lot of people there, you know, because it was on Tuesday, but it didn't matter. I mean, the feeling was still the same. I'll never forget it.